Testing one, two, three, one, two, three, testing. Talk about last minute ideas, man. Uh, I just got home from work. I didn't know what time it is. Jess is at the, she went to the supermarket, she went to the grocery store. She didn't expect me to come home early, neither did I. Ugh, sorry, I'm just extremely tired. This vlog life. Guys, I woke up at five in the morning today to take some pictures. I woke up at five in the morning the day before that, the day my drone broke. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a quick nap. I have a feeling this might be a very uneventful vlog. I haven't done any filming today. And look what time it is. You have it? What are you gonna do then? Have a dance party. Do you know what that says? It needs to go a little higher. That's pretty good with what we got. One, two, three, testing. Testing, one, two, three. One, two, three, testing. Talk about last minute ideas, man. Welcome to the first episode of um, Frequently, Frequently Asked Questions, uh, episode numero uno. Since, uh, since this is a last minute idea, you get some last minute lighting, just uh, overhead from, from my dining table. Very, very, very um, disgusting lighting. Every photo I post and every video I post, I get the same kind of questions either through um, direct message or on the comments. And there's nothing more I love to do than to geek out and answer these questions. So I'm gonna take this moment and, uh, and answer some of the questions you may have had. Uh, I got my glasses on and everything. I am so ready to geek out right now. Okay, let's get started. All right, what is your vlog setup? Usually my vlog setup is uh, this right here. It's uh, a 6500 with a Rogue travel mic and a Prime 20 millimeter 2.8. And I have it on this uh, small rig cage because I'm clumsy and I drop and break everything. Mavic or Karma? Mavic. Canon or Nikon? Sony. Why Sony? Why Sony? Okay, that's fair. Why Sony? Um, okay, I don't have one of these stories where I went from Canon to Sony or Nikon to Sony. I actually started with Sony. I started with Sony when they were like like garbage to the to the world of photography because Canon and Nikon were king and queen, you know, and then Sony's were peasant. And I started with the peasant Sony. <laughs> now look at where where Sony has gone now. You know, it's it's pretty amazing. So I was born in the world of photography with Sony, so I stuck with Sony. Mac or PC? Does it matter? Does it matter? What's the biggest challenge when you do landscape photography? Waking up. Waking up in the morning before the sun is always the hardest thing for me to do. Full frame or crop? Does that matter too? Yes, there is a, a full frame look, but let me ask you this. When you take a look at one of my photographs, do you say, Jose, that was shot in a full frame, wasn't it? No, nobody does. Because I'll tell you something right now, most of my landscapes have been shot on a crop. <gasps> Prime or zoom lenses? I love zoom lenses. If I had to pick one lens to rule them all, it'll be this 24 to 70 2.8. I've always shot with zoom lenses ever since I moved to Hawaii is when I started experimenting with primes. I'm starting to have this big, you know, change of heart and I'm loving primes now. Best lens for landscapes. Yikes. Um, most of my photographs have actually been with uh, with uh, with this little guy. It's a 12 millimeter 2.0, Roku lens. How do you say that, Roku? Has it hit you that you will be a father soon? <laughs> what camera should I start with? So when they ask me this question, I always ask them two questions. One, do you know about lenses? And two, what's your budget? If you know about lenses and you are on a budget, then I would recommend the A6000 and then try to buy the best lens that you can. Because I would rather have a cheap body and an, uh, an amazing expensive lens than having an amazing expensive body and a cheap lens. If you don't know anything about lenses, then I recommend these high speed point and shoots they're making now, like the Sony RX100 Mark III, IV, or V, or Canon G7X, which is this one right here. If you're balling out, then get the Canon uh, 5D Mark IV or the Sony um, 7, 
R Mark II. Notice how I didn't say Nikon. What do you love about photography and filmmaking? Yikes, that is a loaded question. In a nutshell, it's uh, it's my art, it's my passion, it's what, it's the only way I know how to express myself, it's the only way I know how to bring joy and smiles and emotion to people. And I found something that I want to do for the rest of my life. How do you become a better filmmaker slash photographer? That's simple actually, by, uh, by doing. You have to do it, you just have to do it. You have to fail, you have to suck to get good. But I look back at the videos I was taking like before YouTube existed and those are straight up garbage. So you just have to do it. You just have to start doing, doing, do it, just do it. Can you critique my photos? Yes. What do you edit in? Lightroom, Photoshop, and Premiere. Is there free editing softwares? Yes, um, I think uh, iMovie for Mac and Media Windows Media Movie Player for PC. I've used them both. What happened to your other drone? So if you didn't know, the Mavic is actually a second drone I had, and it's also the second drone I broke. Do you use filters? Yes, I, I do use filters, and I know that you really don't have to now because of uh, software like Lightroom. This one right here is probably on my lens on every landscape photo I've taken. Yes, I use filters. Do you have a mentor? I don't, I don't have a mentor. I really wish I did have a mentor. I'm still seeking and looking for one because it's, uh, it's, I think it's very important. You know, everyone says it's important to have a mentor. I don't have that experience. I can't tell you how important it is because <laughs> I don't have one, but I do have friends and I do have um, people who support me and help me become a better photographer, a better filmmaker and a better person. And if anything, I also have YouTube. YouTube is probably my biggest mentor. Do you edit on your phone? No, it just doesn't look right and it feels cheap. Is your family okay? That question has been asked a lot recently because um, if you didn't know, my family lives in Puerto Rico. So um, they're alive, but are they okay? What do, the, what do the numbers mean in the end of your vlogs? That's how many days left till my baby is born. What do you think about while framing your photographs? That's funny, um, man, my brain goes like a million miles per hour when I'm framing. Like my eyeball is like, like going like this all over the place because I got, I check everything, you know? I mean, I gotta make sure everything, the background, the lighting, all I'm making sure is that the photo that's in my head is what I see. I try to do as much as I can in camera so it can make my life easier on post. What is your favorite lens? If I had to pick one lens, my favorite lens is the 24 to 70. A good second place is probably the 35 millimeter prime and the 55 millimeter uh, prime, the one that I'm using. How do you edit like you do? Listen, there's so much better editors than me. There is, just watch, just watch any Instagram video, like, like any, we all start somewhere, man. So like I sucked and I just kept doing and I kept doing it and I kept doing it and now I'm where I'm at. So right now I feel like I'm in a plateau. I gotta figure out what's the next step. And right now, to be honest, my next step is uh, more fast paced editing. Cause right now I'm like doing a lot of like slow motion. So, and I wanna combine that slow motion with fast pace. I think now uh, the attention now is turning to a more fast paced audience. What is your favorite GoPro? GoPro session. Do you manipulate your photos? Yes. Why don't you have a Sony point and shoot? <laughs> because uh, because Canon uh, gave me this from the from the kindness of their heart, so I use it. It's okay, but it's free. How did you get so lucky with a beautiful wife? Yes, yes, she is a very lucky girl. What is your landscape photography setup? Hmm. That it changes. It that that depends. I usually use the A7 Mark II with uh, the 24 millimeter lens, or I'll attach the the Canon 16 to 35 millimeter lens. But like I said earlier, I've been using the A6500 with this 12 millimeter prime, and I've been loving it. What's your favorite camera? I recently got the A6500 and I fell in love with it. Right now, my favorite camera is the A6500, but. The camera I am most confident in is the A7 Mark II, but man, this is this is such a such a perfect camera. Where do you see yourself five years from now? Wow. I'm currently in the military, and my contract ends in 2019. Where do I see myself in five years? What is your inspiration? I get inspired by photographers who don't have like the skills 
that you think they need to like cause emotion and cause reactions like uh, like this photographer Brandon St Stanton. All he does is have a 50 millimeter lens on a Canon. He doesn't edit his photos, he shoots JPEG. Some of them are blurry, but he he's able to, to cause a reaction. Cause like a, like, it's hard to explain. It's the drive. Watching people not giving up on their dreams inspires me and gives me that glimpse that it is possible. I, I, I could do it. That's a, that's a loaded question, so I'll, I'll come back to that one in a separate video. Five years from now, I want to, uh, I want to be a successful photographer, filmmaker, that's able to sustain my family and uh, inspire others. Ah. And that's it. I think uh, I think that's enough questions for the first episode. I think that that's pretty much all the questions that I usually get. So if you have any other questions, or if I didn't answer, you know, one of your questions, just go ahead and just leave it in the comment. Send me a DM and just ask me because I love geeking out about this stuff. I mean, I could geek out about all of this all day. Sorry for this disgusting setup right here. Maybe I'll try a different location some other time or finally kind of purchase maybe some some better better lighting. But um, for now, this was a last minute idea I had and I felt like I should address you know all these questions I, I usually get. Anyway, like I said, let me know if you have any questions. Subscribe, like, you know, you know the deal. And uh, yeah, let's geek out. <laughs>